Yo, so it is summertime and everyone wants to eat mangoes in this hot summer season because it is the king of this season. But the question is, are mangoes really healthy? To understand that, let's dive into the characteristics of what a mango is and what it contains. So one cup of diced mango pieces, about 150 to 160 grams of cut mango pieces will give you about 280 mg of potassium give or take, which is pretty good and uh, about 1800 IU of vitamin A in the form of beta carotene which is again pretty good and about 60 mg of vitamin C which is all right-ish and uh, it gives about 10 mg of magnesium which is again on the lower side and one full gram of protein which is obviously quite less and about 0.5 grams of fat which is again negligible but comes with 25 grams of sugar in 150 to 160 grams which is pretty much high now you might be thinking that it's natural sugar it's completely healthy but let me tell you the body does not think the same way the body just knows the amount of blood sugar which is being spiked by the sugar that you're consuming it does not matter if it's natural organic vegan gluten free magical the body does not care about all this the body just knows the amount of blood sugar which is being spiked due to that particular sugar substance that you are eating and the amount of insulin that it needs to produce to carry that much amount of blood sugar which is being spiked so that is the glycemic index now if the blood sugar spike is too much if the glycemic index of a sugar that you consume is too high the body might not be able to cope up its insulin production to carry that much amount of blood sugar which is being circulated in the bloodstream at that point of time and which may cause fat gain that's the no basic simple science of how the body reacts to sugar the body does not care if it's organic anything nah considering the sugar in mangoes it's pretty much on the higher side of the glycemic index which means that your body might not be able to produce that much amount of insulin in that short time to carry that much amount of blood sugar which may lead to fat gain now this further means that if not unhealthy mangoes are definitely not the healthiest fruit on the or the food source on the planet you can get the amount of vitamin and minerals from other sources as well and that too at the cost of low sugar now coming to the second question can you eat mangoes without it causing problems in your muscle gain or fat loss? Well, yes, absolutely. You can include mangoes in your diet, but you have to make sure that you control your macros and most importantly, the carbs, the sugar that you are eating so that it does not cause problems in your fat loss, specifically for fat loss. You can somewhat include a little bit of mango, not in extremely high quantities in your diet and still stay on track. But if you are on the ketogenic diet, then the answer is obviously no, you cannot have mangoes on a ketogenic diet. Why you cannot have mangoes on a ketogenic diet? It's because it's high glycemic. The whole point of a ketogenic diet is to maintain your blood sugar level to, a lower, to the lower side and include carbs only from those sources that are very low glycemic, that is like vegetables and nuts, and that too contains very low amount of carbs and you cannot include fruits on the ketogenic diet that is the obvious reason for it so if you found this video helpful then you know what to do hit that like button so damn hard that you gotta break it down to shreds and pieces and share this video with as many people as you can because this might be very helpful to them in this special summer season write down your comments below what do you think about mangoes and if you love mangoes then and what you would like to see in my later videos i will definitely consider your suggestions and feedback would be really appreciated because I'm making these videos to give value for you and I will see you in the next video.